While stock markets are filled with promise and potential, they are also home to fraudsters who rob innocent investors of their hard-earned money. As part of Investors Awareness Initiative, we are covering all such scams in order to make sure that you don't fall victim to such insidious practices. Before moving forward, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Our mission is to make this channel biggest online library for Indian traders and investors. We use animations, live trading and real life case studies to explain complex concepts in very easy terms. In today's session, we will discuss a very common scam called pump and dump scheme. Here is how it works. A promoter of a company who owns significant number of its shares wants to offload or sell his shares. But the problem is that the stock price is down in the dumps because of company's bad financial performance. Now, the company's fortunes are not going to improve anytime soon. So the promoter's dilemma is how to get the share prices up so that he can sell them at profit. So he contacts one of these shady stock market operators and asks him to pump the shares, meaning to increase the share prices up by hook or by crook. This starts phase one of the operation, that is to pump the shares. This operator is a seasoned professional and he knows that this garbage of a stock will not fly unless there is some serious trading activity in it. So he, along with other operator buddies, start trading this stock aggressively, just buying and selling among themselves. This aggressive trading pumps the stock prices up and slowly the stock starts showing up on investors' radar. Thinking of it like a legitimate price volume breakout, some investors start buying this stock. As a result, the stock prices move up further. But that's not enough. This operator was not tasked to just move the stock a few percentages up. His job is to generate such a public hysteria about this stock that it makes all-time highs. So, he launches a mass propaganda campaign. He sends out thousands of fake SMS messages to retail investors claiming that influential investors such as Rakesh Janjanwala or Radha Krishna Dabani are buying stocks of this company. He also circulates similar fake messages on WhatsApp groups disguising them as hot tips or insider news. He then gets some newspaper to publish fake news about how the company's fortunes are turning around and how this company is going to become a multi-bagger in the next few months. He also gets some TV pundits to declare that this company is a hidden gem and that this is the right time to get into the stock. All this propaganda slowly starts to kick in and the gullible investors start to buy the company's stock in the hope of making some serious money. Then comes the auto-accelerated phase where the operator doesn't even have to do anything. Just like a pyramid scheme, the investors who made money in the initial phases tell their friends and family about the stock, who in turn tell their friends and family about the stock. All this public hysteria moves the stock into the fourth gear and it starts to make a vertical move. It is then when this operator's job is done and the promoter is ready to dump his shares. Now starts the phase two of the operation, that is to dump the shares. Now, the promoter has to offload all his shares before the public realizes that this was all a scam. So he sells as fast as he can. This aggressive selling brings down the prices, but the prices were so much elevated that everybody thinks that it's just a mild correction. Over the next few days or weeks, this promoter is out of the stock and he had made his money. Now, just like a pyramid scheme falls under its own weight, this stock starts to fall under its own weight as people realize that it was all just a big scam. Some smart investors realize their mistake early on and take whatever losses they got and come out. But those who like to hold and wait in the hope that the stock will turn around are up for some very bitter surprise. Their money vanishes in front of their eyes when day after day the stock hits lower circuits and this torture continues for several weeks. This is how pump and dump schemes enrich shady promoters by robbing investors of their hard-earned money. Here are some famous examples. Amtech India and several of Amtech Group stocks were pumped and dumped. Here is another one, Surana Solar. As you can see, this was a massive pump and dump operation. And this last one is especially amazing because operators managed to pump and dump this stock not only once but twice. Pump and dump schemes are orchestrated all around the world. Those who watched the famous movie Wolf of Wall Street know how Jordan Belford scammed thousands of innocent investors by pumping junk stocks. In India, although SEBI is trying to crack down on such cases, it's almost impossible to stop them all. So it is up to you, an informed investor, to avoid getting trapped in such schemes. Here is how you can do it. Do not trust any SMS or WhatsApp message that's promoting a stock. Think about it. If the stock were that good, why would anyone share that information with you for free? Same thing goes with the so-called experts on TV and newspapers. Do not blindly follow anyone's advice. Do your own research and read through the financial statements of a company before deciding to invest a single rupee in the stock. 
This is it guys. I hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions regarding this video or stock market in general, ask them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.